SOLIDWORKS 2015 contains many enhancements for assemblies to speed the assembly process and build more robust models. When mating two items together, it's often important to make sure that they are centered to each other. For this, SOLIDWORKS provides a new mate, the Profile Center Mate. This mates the selected items to each other regardless of their sizes, shapes, or if they change in the future. An offset is provided if that's necessary and for non-round selections the orientation can be changed in 90 degree increments. If the sizes of the selections are changed, the profile center mate maintains the intelligence to keep them centered. If the location of one changes, the other moves to honor the profile center mate. Very powerful, but that's not all. The profile center mate can be used to fully locate round items such as screws. This locks the two circular profiles to each other and the rotation can be locked as well. Just one mate to fully locate a screw. That is going to save a lot of time and help keep down the number of mates in an assembly. This arm is assembled concentric to the bracket, but it's not positioned along the axis. We could figure out the dimensions and add a limit mate, but the width mate now offers options other than just centering the components to each other. Similar to the slot mate, components can be positioned by a dimension, percentage, or in this case, free to move within the bounds of the selections. Now the arm behaves exactly as we want and will do so even if the parts change. A limit angle mate is required to position this pin to the slot to control movement. Notice that the dimensions that are presented may not be exactly what you're looking for. Now a pivot reference vector may be selected to guarantee the proper solution and eliminate any angle flipping. The reference can be chosen manually or SOLIDWORKS can automatically figure it out based on other mates in the assembly. This presents the pivot vector and a quadrant selection tool that allows you to select the desired angle dimension. The dimension in the property manager is updated to reflect the selection and we can enter the required values. When working with limit mate dimensions we could always make on-screen changes to the current angle value but now we can change the upper and lower limits on screen as well, saving steps of having to access the property manager for limit mates. SOLIDWORKS pioneered assembly motion and allows assemblies to move just as they do in the real world, but when positioning components in assemblies that have many degrees of freedom, the motion can be fickle. This is overcome with the new capabilities of the move component command. Now components can be temporarily fixed so that the movement is much more predictable. Not only that, you can temporarily group components so they move as one, making it much easier to get the assemblies in just the right position. These selections can even be remembered for the next time the move component command is used. Another clamping knob needs to be added to the assembly to lock the arm, and now when a component is inserted, a rotation pop-up is available to quickly orient the part to get it into rough orientation for the assembly. With this new positioning, it's much easier to properly assemble the component without having to rotate it to get it close for assembly. Let's make this concentric to the tapped hole and tangent to the shaft. Interference detection is a very powerful capability of SOLIDWORKS to determine clashes before parts are produced, but sometimes small interferences are intended such as press fits and when using rubber seals or o-rings. This assembly reports several interferences between the bore of the bracket and the shaft of the arm, but also some small interferences between the shaft and o-ring. Now in SOLIDWORKS 2015, interferences are sorted from large to small. New controls are available to sort the interferences as well as zooming capabilities. There are also controls to ignore interferences that are smaller than a selected value, if that's not important, such as this O-ring. But we still need to fix the interference between the shaft and the bracket. Opening the part, we can see that someone was thinking ahead. Let's unsuppress this cut feature to reveal the new bore. Looks great. Going back to the assembly, we can see that this change has caused some problems. Failed mates. Let's edit one of these concentric mates and redefine it to the outside cylindrical surface. Now, in SOLIDWORKS 2015, we are presented with the option to replace all missing mate references that use this face. Just like that, 
we have solved all the made errors caused by the change to the bracket. Sometimes it's necessary to make a variant of a part, such as this knob. So you open it up, save a copy, then do a replace component for this instance only. Now in SOLIDWORKS 2015 we eliminate all those steps. With a simple right click we can now make this part independent from all the others and the unselected knobs in this assembly maintain their reference to the original part. In SOLIDWORKS 2014 we provided the option to keep child features when deleting a parent feature and in SOLIDWORKS 2015 we've extended this capability to the assembly level as well. Now when deleting a component we have the option to control the deletion of child features. These retained features can then be redefined to reference different components without having to recreate them. Finally, we need to add an additional arm to the back of the support, and Copy with Mates is perfect for this. Now, this command supports symmetry and width mates, including the new controls for distance or percentage. Just select the references, and you're done.